Let me just go wash all the stickiness off in the shower. I will be right back. Good evening. I'm back from my shower. I have my pimple patches on. Don't mind that. But it's time for a Dexcom change. A lot of people said they wanted me to do speaking Dexcom changes again. So here we are. Tomorrow is my last day of school holidays before I start year 12. The start of the school year has always been kind of like anxiety inducing for me. And I feel like since being diagnosed with diabetes and going back to start a new school year, that anxiety has just gotten like 10 times worse. I know I really don't talk about it on here and I don't really talk about it in the real world either. I don't always cope well with my diabetes and the stress of diabetes plus the stress of school plus the stress of everything else just doesn't mix well for me at all. But it's okay, it's something I'm working on this year and something that I hope is going to get a lot easier and I'm going to feel a lot better about it. I don't really know what else to talk about today. Let's do this. That hurt like 2 out of 10. Also, apologies, I um forgot to order patches so I don't have any cool patches today. I'm sorry. She's a bleeder today. Okay, so sometimes when you put on a Dexcom sensor, you'll bleed a little bit. I think it's only happened to me like four or five times that I put on a sensor. But here she is. She's basically complained, but we love her all the same. Oh, don't know if I've ever shown this or talked about it in detail, but I need to take an injection. And I've just noticed that my vial is out of insulin. We're good. So a big part of diabetes is the injections. Well, at least for me, because I don't have a pump. As much as I would love a pump, I don't have one. And you know what? Before I was diagnosed, I had no idea that diabetics had to give themselves injections. And now I give myself four injections every single day. So this injection is my glargine or my Lantus insulin, which I take at night. And I have to take this at the same time every single night. Now, if you don't like needles, look away now. I am not putting a trigger warning on me keeping myself alive, but if you don't like it, just scroll. I hate this. It's been two years and I still hate doing that. It really hurts. I don't know if it's just me, but taking my Lantus hurts way more than taking my rapid acting insulin. Anyways, that is all from me. I'm gonna finish drinking my cup of tea and then I'm gonna head to bed. All right, good night. And our friends, they say they want this, but they don't see that it's inevitable and inevitably. The glass house will come down, just waiting to hear that crashing sound, waiting for the right words to tell you how. I don't want to be false. Sorry. Pretend we're picture perfect. It's time for a Dexcom change. So today while I do my change, I just wanted to talk a little bit about hypos or hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia, or also known as low blood sugar, which often happens to diabetics, but it can also be caused by other medical conditions. But I want to talk about it because I don't think a lot of people understand the severity of it. For me as a diabetic, I experience hypoglycemic episodes pretty regularly. It's just a part of my condition. Hypoglycemia occurs when there's not enough glucose or sugar in my blood and it causes my brain to stop functioning the way it should and it can be really scary and confusing. I often experience side effects such as extreme shakiness, becoming super pale, feeling like I'm about to pass out or faint. It causes me to have a lot of anxiety and oftentimes when I have a low blood sugar it feels like I can't even speak. But I think one of the more scary parts of it for me is knowing that it could cause me to have a seizure or go into a coma. And I don't think a lot of people know that this is actually a very scary and a very real thing that can happen. And I really think the lack of knowledge comes from the stigma around diabetes and the stigma around my condition. A lot of people use diabetes as a joke and they shouldn't because it's very serious and it's people's lives. It's their entire lives. We're fighting to stay alive. Now, the way you treat hypoglycemia is by consuming something with a high sugar content, such as juice or lollies, etc. But unfortunately for me, and I'm sure a lot of other diabetics have experienced this, I've had some really rude and uneducated people make really insensitive comments about me eating sugar because I'm a diabetic and how I shouldn't be eating sugar because I'm diabetic, when all I was trying to do was treat my hypo so I didn't have a seizure and go into a coma. By the way, I can eat whatever I want. As long as I take insulin, I'm fine. But it's very sad and very scary to see people make jokes and make fun of diabetes when it has very real life impacts on us. Don't be scared, hypoglycemic seizures and comas are very rare, but they are a very real possibility. 
But those side effects are avoided by treating your hypos immediately and looking after your blood sugar levels. And once again, those side effects are rare. They're real, but they're rare. I make my videos to spread awareness, and I think this is a part of diabetes that a lot of people just don't know about, and I wanted to talk about it. Anyways, I hope you're all doing amazing, and I will see you next week when I do another Dexcom change. Bye! birthday tomorrow how exciting i'm turning 17. alexa what's the time the time is 10 51 p.m so it's almost 11 right now my birthday in all technicality is in like two hours i was born at 1 11 a.m which i think is such a fun cool fact this will be my first birthday in a while that i'm not actually like sick well i mean not sick sick but Four years ago on my birthday, I had a staph infection, and if anyone's ever had a staph infection, they're awful. And then of course, three years ago on my birthday was when the pandemic started. Two years ago, I was in lockdown for my birthday. And last year, I actually had COVID on my birthday, so I didn't get to do anything for my sweet 16th. Three, two, one. So I'm really excited that I'm actually getting to celebrate my birthday this year. It's been so long. So tomorrow night, I am going out for dinner with my family. And then on Saturday, I'm going to have a couple of friends sleep over. And on Sunday, I'm going to go out and celebrate with my school friends. And I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to play laser tag, which I haven't done in such a long time. And I love laser tag. It is so fun. Anyways, new Dexcom. The other one is starting to get really itchy. So, so glad I got to change it. But that's all for me. I'm going to go to bed now. Um, yeah, good night. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a sit down talking Dexcom change. So let's change my Dexcom. Now, I know there's a lot of new people here, so hi, welcome. But recently, I've been getting heaps of questions about what is this thing on my arm, what is the Dexcom, and I have spoken about my Dexcom in the past and what it is and what it does, but I'm just going to talk about it again for everyone who's been asking and who doesn't know. So hi, if you're new here and if you've never seen me before, I'm Alicia, I'm a type 1 diabetic, and I wear a Dexcom. So the thing that people see on my arm during my videos is a continuous glucose monitor. I personally wear the Dexcom, but there's different types. It's kind of like how there's different types of phone. You've got Android, you've got Apple, etc. It's kind of like that. They all pretty much do the exact same thing. They all read your blood sugar. And as a diabetic, these devices are extremely helpful. Three, two, one. Basically, this device allows me to see my blood sugar without having to prick my finger, which is huge for me. I have a fear of blood and needles, so pricking my finger and doing injections isn't a fun time for me. But with this little device, I'm able to just look at my phone and it will tell me what my blood sugar is. How cool is that? I'm like part robot. So I change this little device every 10 days. I reuse this for three months. But with these, I have to put a new one on every 10 days. Now, not only does this little device tell me what my blood sugar is at any point in time, it will also alert me when my blood sugar is too low or too high so that I can fix it before it becomes dangerous. Now I get asked, how exactly does it know what my blood sugar is? And this device has a teeny, tiny little wire. I don't even know if you can see it. But that little wire stays in my arm. I don't feel it. I cannot feel it at all. Most of the time I forget that it's even there. But that little wire stays in my arm and it reads my sugar levels. And this transmitter just clicks in there and it's Bluetooth to my phone. So this little device sends all of my blood sugar readings to my phone. I think this device is so cool. It literally saves my life every single day. But yeah, that's what my Dexcom is and that is what you see on my arm in my videos. This has been dead for like two days, so it's time to put a new one on. Oh, this is the last one. I have got to order a new box. Now, 
Now I get a lot of questions if this hurts, so I'm going to give it a rating out of 10. 3, 2, 1. Like a 1. Honestly, I barely even felt that. Do any other diabetics clean their transmitter before putting it back on? I don't know if it's just me. I have no idea why I clean it. Yeah, I'm just going to click her in. And I'm all done. See you all in 10 days for another Dexcom change. Okay, so I haven't had a Dexcom one in like a week and I just sat down at the table and look what's sitting here. Uh, so I think my mum pulled those out to remind me to put a new one on. So let's go change my Dexcom. Although I may have a slight problem, I have no idea where my transmitter is. So I need to find that. Okay, we're, we're fine. I found my transmitter. When I say I haven't had a Dexcom on in a week, I mean I literally haven't checked my blood sugar in like the last three days. It's so bad. You know what? I just I just haven't had time. That's that's so that's not an excuse. Anyways, if my endo sees this, that's a joke. I check my blood sugar regularly. Oh, that was that was true swaps. I'm actually going to diabetes camp this weekend, and I went last year, and it actually really helped me. I remember I didn't want to go at all, but my mom was like, no, Alicia, you have to go. So I went and I had a really good time and it was the first time that I was around all these people who knew exactly what I was going through. And there wasn't any like judgment or expectation for me to be somewhere with my management and that just helped with my overall management, if that makes sense. And recently my relationship with my diabetes hasn't been the best. We've been fighting, you could say. We just haven't been getting along. I just want to be a teenager and my diabetes is like, no, -uh, you have to be a pancreas. But that is okay because hopefully going to camp is going to help me feel better about managing my diabetes again because the first time I went, it helped so much. The next comes on and I actually feel like I should probably just check my blood sugar. Just, yep. All right, let's see what's going on. Three. I'm in range. I'm so happy. I'm never in range. Like I'm always high, but I am at. This is backwards. It looks like two point or three point two. It's five point three. Look at me go. Anyways, I will see you for another Dexcom change in like ten days. So, see ya. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities. There could be a place for you and me. And under the stars. time that I filmed one of these videos it wasn't meant to rip like that it's definitely been a while but I have been wearing my Dexcom I just haven't been filming the changes apologies but I have been making those little diabetic skits where I just kind of like talk about some of the situations that have happened to me when people find out I'm diabetic I often get asked what this device is for and I feel like I've explained it quite a few times, but if this is the first time you're ever seeing me, this device is called a Dexcom CGM, which stands for Continuous Glucose Monitor. And basically what it does is... My alarm went off. Whoops. It measures my blood glucose levels because I'm a type 1 diabetic, and that's something that I need to look after every day. And this little device here that just pops on my arm, and this little tab here is a safety latch. I flick that off, and then I push this button, done see it doesn't really hurt if i do it right like sometimes it will hit a weird spot and it will hurt just a little bit but that time it didn't hurt you can't even really see it in the machine but that there is a needle and that goes into my arm 
and it leaves this tiny teeny little wire can you see it it leaves that in my arm and that's what reads my sugar levels and then this little thing here the transmitter just cleaning it because it's a bit sticky but this little thing goes into this just clicks in there and then it sends all my blood sugar readings straight to my phone so i'm like bluetooth connected to my phone technically which is kind of fun but yeah that's my dexcom it's a really cool device it has saved my life so many times i honestly don't know what i would do without it there's been so many times where i don't know where my blood sugar levels are sitting and i'd be too low or way too high and i wouldn't know and this little device just has been able to save me from having any major complications, which is incredible. This device stays on for 10 days, and to make it last as long as it possibly can, you can get these little patches, mine are from Type Strong, which basically sit over the patch and keep it on for the full 10 days. I like to put mine on a few days into it when it starts to peel a little bit. But you can get these Dexcom patches in all different colours and styles online. But I will see you in 10 days, hopefully, for another Dexcom change. Good morning, I'm about to head off to school, but I have to do a Dexcom change quickly before I leave. And this morning I also have to do a transmitter change because this one, this little thing here, died. So it's time for a new one. But first we'll put the new sensor on. Okay, so I quickly just switched over to my app and paired my new transmitter and put in my sensor code. So now I'm going to put this on. Right, and we'll just pop that on my arm. That's going to hurt. I put it in a weird spot. Oh well. Three, two, one. I didn't feel that at all. <laughs> all right. Now it's time for my new little transmitter. Even though she's all clean, I'm just gonna quickly give her a wipe with an alcohol swab. Oh, it's bleeding. That one's a bleeder, but we'll just clip this in, and we're done. Now I've got to run off to school. But thank you for changing my Dexcom with me. I will see you next time. Okay, never mind. I'm back. It will not stop bleeding. Um, so I'm gonna have to put a new one on. It was bleeding down my arm, so I called them and they said to take it off and put a new one on, so let's do that. The reason I have to put a new one on is because it's all, like, it's got blood all around the transmitter, which is not good. Oh, this is so gross to look at. I also need a band-aid for my arm because it still won't stop bleeding. The funny thing is, it doesn't hurt at all. So I went to continue getting ready to leave my house because I've got to go to school. And occasionally when you put a Dexcom on, your arm or wherever you put it might bleed just a little bit. That's normal. But I was walking around and I felt something wet drip down my arm. And then I looked and there was just blood everywhere, which shouldn't happen. I am going to put it on the same arm though. I'm just going to do it a little bit higher because it stopped bleeding now. Honestly, I kind of just wanted to leave that sensor on. I really can't be bothered changing it again, but um <sighs> Round two <laughs> Okay, that one did hurt a little bit. <laughs> there we go Hopefully that one will be okay. <laughs> All right now I really need to head off for school because I am running so late now. Thank you, diabetes. But I never call, and you're going all the way this year. If I could tell you, I don't think you believe. Dexcom change. I am so glad that my Dexcom expired today because I have my graduation tonight and I was so hoping to just have a fresh Dexcom on for my graduation because this one was getting a little bit crusty. I honestly can't believe after 13 years of going to school every day, today is my last day for good. Like my last day of high school, this is it. Two, one. I feel like only yesterday I was talking about like getting ready for school and getting ready for my first day and now it's the end. What? Anyways, click that in and we're all done. All right, I have got to head to school for my last day. Anyways, um, I'll see you all later. Bye.
Dexcom change. My Dexcom actually died yesterday, but I forgot to change it because they were in the back of my mum's car and she wasn't home and then I didn't change it today because my mum also wasn't home. But now I've got my Dexcom, so I'm changing my Dexcom at Alexa, what's the time? 12.30am. Midnight. That surprisingly didn't hurt one bit. These are my last four alcohol swabs that I have. I need to go get some more tomorrow. I didn't know that I pretty much didn't have any left. So tonight's been a bit busy. I just spent the last couple hours filming and editing my latest Vlogmas episode. I left it kind of really last minute today because I had a nap earlier this afternoon and set my alarm for 5.45 p.m. to wake up. My alarm didn't go off because I set it for 5.45 a.m. and I didn't wake up until 7 p.m. So, my mistake. Is this going to be my last Dexcom change for the year? Oh my gosh, I didn't turn, I didn't pull the top. Oh, this is, I can't be doing this when I'm like half asleep. I didn't pull the top sticker off. No, ah, there we go. Oh, it's the 20th, no. This is my second last Dexcom change for the year. All right, three, two, one. Didn't feel that. I don't know if it's like, because I'm tired, my arms aren't feeling any of the pain. All right, just pop that in, done. I will see you all next time for my last Dexcom change of the year. Bye guys!